It's a distinct possibility that in the final of the World Club Cup, the FIFA World Club Cup, out in Saudi Arabia, that the city will play Fluminense in the final. Might not happen, of course, but if they do, it would be the champions of Europe against the champions of South America, from Brazil, of course. So, here to give us a little bit of an insight into what to expect is a guy who covers City over here in England, but he's Brazilian and he's a Fluminese fan. And he actually flew over to watch Fluminese win their equivalent of the Champions League. So, meet Fred. So, my name is Fred Caldeira. I'm a Brazilian reporter, correspondent for TNT Sports in Manchester. And not only do you cover City, but I know you're a Fluminese fan. Yes. And uh, you were there to see them win the trophy, which means that they will be in the World Club Cup finals, which City could eventually play them in. So, tell me a little bit about your team to begin with and what it means to you. It means absolutely everything. Like, we, we I was there when we lost the first ever final of the South America Champions League that we played 15 years ago. Uh, it's called Libertadores, so we played that, we lost, and now our second ever final we finally won. So it was absolutely mental for us, it meant everything. And now it's the impossible dream, isn't it? Like for, for us to be able to be a part of the Club World Cup is already a lot. I think it's a different take from the Europeans maybe. Um, and possibly playing City, just just to be able to play against City is something that means a lot to us. I think to dream about winning it is a step a bit too far, but just to be there, uh, it is a very valuable thing for us. So the competition that they want to qualify for this is the equivalent of the Champions League yes. in Europe. Yes. So they've had to play teams from, I think it was Boca Juniors yeah, in uh, the that final. they played, but you know, teams from all over South America, is that how yeah. it, and, and, and how big a deal is that? Is it like the Champions League? It is, if not even bigger, because um, it's, it's just something that the whole continent stops to watch as well. Um, you have the biggest teams, every country dreams about it. There is no uh, differences between the, 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 the value of that competition around the country. So Brazilian clubs, Argentinian clubs, Colombian clubs, Equatorian clubs. So, for example, in our journey to win the title, in our path to the final, we faced four former champions. So it was a, it was a bit like City in the Champions League as well, right, really, like facing Bayern Munich, uh, Inter Milan and other former champions, Real Madrid, we faced Boca Juniors, we faced um, River Plate and other big clubs, historically speak speaking. So, yeah, it was it was really the best thing for us. I, I think there, there are some similarities to what Champions League means to maybe the history of Manchester City and Libertadores for the Fluminense history as well. You are in a unique position because you report on City, yeah. you watch City regularly, the Fluminense fan. Yeah. Wow, I mean, when you look at that game now, it must mean so much to you to begin with, but also it must be very, everybody must be asking you what you think is going to happen. And I'm going to ask you as well, what's going to happen if the two of them play each other in the final? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's the, again, the impossible dream because I would never imagine that I would be able to live that. Like, it's almost the, I don't know, the, 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 the merge of my professional life with my personal life. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm so much looking forward to it. I hope, I hope Fluminense does go through the semi-final. I think we have a harder job than City, because City are the best team in the world anyway, and they will be in the final, most likely. Fluminense might face Benzema's team and the money of Saudi, so that would be a problem for us. But if we do go through and we face City, I think it would be a very interesting game for football nowadays because not only you have Pep and City stars and everything, the positional game, um, Fluminense has an interesting manager that, interestingly enough, is the caretaker manager for the Brazilian national team at the moment at the same time, so his part-time job in club and national team. But what is interesting about him when we look from the perspective of City and Guardiola is that he is the a-positional a game so instead of fixing the game players with fixed positions they do change a lot uh, positions so le sometimes we score when our left back is a right winger and our center back is a uh, number 10 so that happens quite often so it's it would be interesting two different 
styles with lots of similarities but essential differences as well. I mean, I'm old enough to have grown up watching the 1970 mm. World Cup team with Giazzino and Pele and all the rest of them, Rivellino, and that was what made me fall in love with football, I've got mm. to be honest. Oh, nice. And, uh, and now the dream for me is to watch City play the best of Brazil. Mm -hmm. Is the best of Brazil still that beautiful football that... that LA and Chisino play because I've seen different incarnations of Brazilian football yeah. where it's become a lot more pragmatic mm -hmm. and even a bit more cynical. We're a, we're a Fluminense now on the scale of great Brazil football teams. I think uh, to be as great as the 70 team is... Um, oh, the 82 team. 82 as well, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So those two are the milestones for us in terms of quality. That's why the pressure is so... Even though the 82 didn't win the World Cup, people have that as a reference of how Brazil should play, how Brazilian players and Brazilian clubs should play. Um, we have been, you're correct, more pragmatic, more cynical. Um, of course, it doesn't help being in a position in the, in the, in the, in the, in the world that uh, clubs from Europe prey on our youngsters too early so you have I don't know a few Foden if he was born in Fluminense he would not be playing for Fluminense anymore in C at City he has the time and no one's going to prey on him it doesn't help us but at the same time Fluminense even though the quality is absolutely miles away from this 1970 1982 there is a bit of a rescue of that at least mentality football should be a bit more for fun should be a football should be more entertaining so there is that that's why sometimes we score five and concede four like it's just a, 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 a bit a bit chaotic but I think it's a good restoration for for what Brazilian football and I agree should be in 2025 the World Club Cup is going to be massive it's going to be a tournament in America up until now, it's been this sort of, uh, for English teams anyway, two games, mm -hmm. and it's been in the middle of the season. Uh, I wonder from a, a Fluminense point of view, from a South American point of view, is this tournament seen differently? Because it's almost, English people almost see it as a friendly or, a, or something just that interrupt yeah. the season. Yeah, like, well, the, the, the current, the future format, I don't know. I think if the South American clubs have a slim chance nowadays of winning it, the new format is going to basically shatter those chances because you have more European clubs and more sh chances for them to win it. But the current format, which has been in place for what, 10, 20 years, something around that. But even the former International Cup, uh, Intercontinental Cup, we value that as what it is the club world cup so we want to be the champions of the world so just to give you an example if Fluminense win it which is not going to happen but if you win it uh, there will be a parade of hundreds of thousands of people in Rio waiting for the team to arrive from Saudi um, if City win it I believe it will be just a timid celebration and celebrating the fact that you won everything not this title so for us this title would mean yeah we conquered the world what do you think is going to happen then? You think City are going to win it by the sounds of it? And yeah. You think they'll play Fluminense in the final? I hope so. I do think that. Well, I don't. I don't watch Saudi football, uh, but of course, when you see that the most likely opponent from for Fluminense will be a team that has Benzema, that was the Ballon d'Or winner not long time ago. Kante, you know very well. Fabinho, we know very well. So that does make you think and wonder if we do have actual chances of winning it but maybe they do have like a local left back that is not as great or a center i don't know if the team is just like three stars and not very good the rest of them maybe maybe we have a chance i think it's a very 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 dangerous game so i would say that it's 50 50 the semi-final and if we face city in the final it's 99 percent against one final questions about the fans i mean i'm i'm hoping to be over there. Uh, I don't know how many City fans are actually going to go to Saudi. Okay. I wonder how many Brazil fans are going to go there. I mean, Brazilian fans are renowned for following their national team all over the world. 
and always put on a very colourful show and we love the samba stuff and all that business. Mm. Will there be thousands of fans out there? Will it be a, a tournament that they'll, they'll not be able to afford to go to? What, what do you expect from the fans? Even though it's extremely expensive for us, um, especially because of the flight tickets, it's a longer fly and etc. Um, what I heard is it's already sold out, the tickets that were available to us for the semi-final. I don't know about the final allocation and ticket selling yet, but uh, that makes me believe that we will be there in the dozens of thousands uh, supporters for sure. Because again, it's an unique opportunity. We never won a, the Champions League before. Therefore, we've never been in the Club World Cup before, like Manchester City. So for us, it's a unique experience, and for sure, there'll be the thousands there. Well, enjoy it. You've given us a great insight. Thank made you. the best team win. And I hope to see you there. You can't lose, can you? In no. Because of your job and your support. Exactly. I'll be there with, I won't say a divided heart, but I'll be there trying to make the best of it.